This is the Q6600 and the question is, is it still usable? The Q6600 came out in 2007. It has a core clock of 2.4 GHz and it has 4 cores and 4 threads. Today we're going to see if over a decade old processor is still a good budget choice in 2020. Our test system today is a GTX 570, 7GB of RAM and a 500GB 7200RPM drive and of course our Q6600. First up we have GTA 5 with a 1080p resolution, the normal preset which is the lowest but I have maxed out population and distance settings to stress out the CPU. As well I have turned on FXAA which is CPU rendering. We got an average of 48 FPS, a 1% low of 4 FPS and a 0.1% low of 0 FPS. Now I chose these settings as I wanted to show how people setting CPU related settings too high on games like this will show you how the CPU has aged. And you can see from our testing it was sitting around the high 90s and hit 100% usage multiple times. With most modern budget CPUs these settings would not cause as much stutter as we saw in these results. So that's something to keep in mind but setting some sensible settings will give you a playable experience in this game. The next game that we tested out was Fortnite at the 1080p resolution at the lowest preset and 100% 3D resolution. This game does an average of 62 FPS, a 1% low of 0.2 FPS and a 0.1% low of 0.2 FPS. This stutter came from our CPU being at 100% usage more or less all of the time. And now your eyes do not deceive you, the character glides to the ground with no glider. This is as the CPU can't run fast enough to render in all the textures of the game quick enough. The only thing that keeps us at good average is our overkill GTX 570. But yet again, setting the settings a bit lower will, may give you a, a playable experience However, it's not a good experience visually. The final game that we tried out is Dirt Rally 2.0, which we know is optimised well. With the 1080p resolution and the lowest preset selected, we gained an average of 75 FPS, a 1% low of 59 FPS and a 0.1% low of 49 FPS, which is definitely playable. However, this isn't great if you want to play the game competitively. So, should you buy the Q6600 in 2020? Well, it's hard to recommend at this point. Don't get me wrong, it can run games that are 3 years old and older with playable frame rates if you set lower settings for newer games. But it is not a great experience as you can see, newer games like Fortnite will need you to drop settings very low. You're much better off saving up for an i5-2400, which are starting to go under £20, or if you want to, don't want to spend that much, there is a very cheap i7-920, which will outperform this chip. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next 